there. David Holman quickly back down, fired it right through a crowd right away for Ron Taylor and out of bounds. It's Armstrong's ball with 6.29 to go and a 51-51 game as Dan Brink looks on from the central bench. Well, he thought he had his man breaking there. He thought Taylor was looking for it, but he wasn't. Jason Johnson, deep right baseline. Oh, and uh, nothing off the rim. Here's Johnson underneath and a foul. That's Grant Johnson went to the rebound. Using that seven-foot size to go to the offensive board. And the foul on Janelle Holtz. His fourth. Well, once Armstrong beat Wyzetta in the regions, everyone thought Armstrong would come in favored to win the tournament. Larry Wim, however, says that he thinks it's a very well-balanced heel and that it could be a number of teams, and that's certainly what we've seen today. That Owatonna, a two-point winner over Stillwater earlier today, and again, Armstrong and St. Paul Central locked in a dead heat, tied at 51. Van Johnson is one for one at the free throw line. He's got a nice touch. He's going to go to Wisconsin, not on scholarship. He's going to walk on there. And that's a great gamble for the Badgers. You get a guy seven feet tall and can keep that ball up, and he's got a nice frame on him, and he runs the court well. Johnson may develop at that level. Certainly would be a redshirt candidate. Definitely a rebuilding program down there, so it would well be a chance for somebody to come in and get some pretty significant playing time. The foul is called. And Alan Bedrick thought he had position there. Really not a well-thrown pass as Holman tried to get it to Hughes, but the Bedrick had a blanket on him and pushed a little bit, and that will send Hughes to the line. Fifteen foul, now five aside. And the central man, Ben Centurion Hughes, to the free line to shoot one and one. Jordan Hughes at the line shooting one and one. He is perfect so far at four tries for the minute, man. Has not been to the line until now in the second half. Well, I like his style. It finds the bottom of the net every time. The pony shot. A lot of discussion as to what kind of a college career Gerard Hughes might have ahead of him. Is he a Division I prospect or, or not? Dan Brink, of course, and the central people think that he definitely is. Others well, not so sure about his ball handling, and of course at 6-1, that's what he would have to do at the big time level. He, of course, has surpassed the 1,000 mark, and Dan Brink says, I don't know many who have done it in two seasons, as Gerard has. No one has ever done it in two seasons in the St. Paul City Conference. He is the only player who's ever done it. Well, you'd be hard-pressed, you're right, to find anybody else. Gerard Hughes pulls the net, he's six for six at the line, six minutes to go, and Central leads by one. Look at Mullen under the basket, he's got a lot of room. The Armstrong Falcons stand the Bedrick, left side, Jankala, quickly double team, trap, stolen, here comes David Holman back down underneath, and a foul going in on the Bedrick. Bedrick thought he had ball again there, but the, the fortunate part from an Armstrong perspective is this deal. Holman cleanly rips the ball away, then it's two on one, and it, you know, if you're going to slap like that, most of the time it's going to get called. 542 to go. 53-52. Central by a point. And Central's David Holman just is at the free throw line to shoot two. He would like to go on to further his education perhaps on the scholarship. He's known as Disco David Holman. <laughs> now one, or rather four for five, three to five for six. Two point lead for Central. Notice the shooter, when Holman misses the free throw, he looks at, he looks at his hand, he said he had to flip. Got to shoot him. Foul inside goes against Central. Christian Hayes doesn't believe it. Frank White's got it for a foul, and that would be four on Hayes. So both he and Jermont Paul are in the game with four fouls now. Hayes comes out, and Kelly will come in to play that point spot, and that will move Hughes and Holman to the wing spots again. 
Grant Johnson at the free throw line for Armstrong. Two for five. Balls to within a point. And could tie the game on this bonus end of the one and one. But it rolls out, flying underneath. Jake, come on! Yes! Nice play. Sneaks around. Get that rebound on this free throw. And Armstrong back in front by a point. 55-54. The Falcons regaining the lead on heads-up play by Scott Jengala. Here's Gerard Hughes. No problem. Gerard Hughes. 56-55. Now Central in the lead. 5.06 to go. Underneath. Ball. Hands it in Armstrong. Regains the lead. And back to court we go with five minutes to play. Here comes Holman in the middle, blocked once, up off balance, almost failed an hour, and Grant Johnson pulls off the rebound, and there's a foul. Not a smart play there by Taylor, the ball was in Johnson's hands, and he took a hack at him and picked up the foul, so Grant Johnson will go back to the foul, and there you see the big guy has the ball, Taylor coming in from behind like that, that's a very tough play to make. On top of that, that's number 45. Now 448. Left in. Regulation time, anyway, as Larry Wheel looks on from the Armstrong bench. And at the free throw line is big seven footer Grant Johnson. Number one in his class, he will be the valedictorian of the senior class at Armstrong. That's another good recommendation for Wisconsin uh, to take him. Another perfect 4 0, too. That's the second one. Two-point lead. 58-56 Armstrong. 4.42 to go. Gerard Hughes brings the Minutemen back down, driving on Jankala. Leaps and missed over the top, but underneath it, missing again the other side. That's a big miss because Paul had the ball in good shape. Jankala dishes out to Johnson. Weaves right through the post. High for Nabedrick. Deep right baseline, Johnson Moe for the post. Got it. Mike Moe. On the pass from Grant Johnson, Mike Moe has had a hot hand all day long. 60 to 56, Armstrong with 4.08 to go. 19 points now for Moe. Central on the right side, Paul. Foul as he went up. And this will go in on Jankala. Let's see how many on Jankala now. That's at least three, perhaps four. Four-point lead. Oh, it's only a second, huh? Shows you what I know. I thought he had two already in this half. Okay. Ball to the line to shoot two. It's on the replay. Mullen using his body and his offhand to hold off the defender to get use his right hand cleanly. Their own ball at the free throw line for Central. Nails the first. Pulls the minute men to three. It is 60 to 57. Armstrong leading with 4.01 to go in the fourth quarter. So Paul going through a whole litany of preparations for this one. Got it. Whatever works. Whatever works. And there's a break of the action with 4.01 to go. It's a scorcher. 60 to 58. Armstrong by a pair. This is the way most people build up their nest egg at a bank. It's safe, it pays interest, and it's taxable. But now, TCF offers you a way that's a whole new breed altogether. A tax-deferred annuity that lets your money multiply faster. Get an annuity through TCF and see just how fast your money multiplies. Have spring fever? Do something about it. Stop in the Champion Auto Stores during our spring fever sale and save on what you need to revitalize your car or truck for spring. Champion Auto Stores Spring Fever Sale. Hi, I'm Rudy Perpich. Support Minnesota companies and the products they make. It's a step towards a stronger state economy and a stronger job market. Buy in Minnesota. Coming in May, the most powerful and controversial motion picture ever to appear on any television screen. Shaka Zulu, a true story. Following our game, 
we will present our player of the game brought to you by the Minnesota Dairy Promotion Council, the American Dairy Association. Well, we have had a pair of rip snorters here in the AA semifinals today, and this one uh, looks like it's going to go right down to the wire, which is what happened in the Oatana Stillwater game. Oatana 45, Stillwater 43. Here, 401 to play, it's 60 to 58. Armstrong over St. Paul Central. Scott Jangler from the Armstrong Falcons. Pressure in the backcourt. Now here's Dan Nebedrick. Up and over, almost broken up by Gerard Hughes. Nebedrick from the point, works left. Here's Jankala. Watched by Frank Kelly. Way up high, Nebedrick on the wing. Deep right baseline to go inside for Moen. And he traveled as he went for the shot. Disappointment for Armstrong there because they had what they wanted. Johnson dumped it back in and Moen put a good move on it. I guess it turns out to be not such a good move if you travel, but it looked like he was in clean. And Central now a chance to tie. Three and a half to go, 60 to 58 Armstrong. Frank Kelly in the Central minute mix. To the corner for Gerard Hughes, into the paint, up and off the iron. And the rebound to Brad Johnson of Armstrong. Jangle it out for Nebedrick. Here's Jason Johnson. Up and off for a three-pointer. Flying rebound to Jerome Paul of St. Paul Central in the minute. Men bring it back with 3.06 to go. 60 to 58. Armstrong by two. David Hallman into a wall of human flesh and a foul coming in. Interesting play there. He held up the finger for the play, whatever <laughs> it was, and then he just blew by his man, took it to the basket. This is me. <laughs> One finger, that's me. I take it in. Very scientific. Very up and up over at the central bench. <laughs> nice play. Coach, call that one again. David Holman at the line to shoot one on one. We'll get a bonus. This could tie it. Looking down the last three minutes. Holman and Hughes will handle that ball because they're both so good on the foul line. And used to taking those roles, but uh, I'm sure we'll see them in possession most of the time of taking the shot. And the game is tied with three minutes exactly to go. Holman and Hughes, the only central players to score in this half, other than one bucket by Holtz and one pair of free throws by Paul. Now back down comes Jason Johnson. Off the rim, got it right back underneath. Yes! 62 to 60 Armstrong, 245 left. Big, big foul. They, get, they had a... Armstrong had St. Paul Central out, man, because they beat the pressure. Yeah! Yeah! Out of bounds underneath as Ron Taylor could not penetrate, and it's Central's ball still. Grant Johnson has been a force here in the second half. He's been able to get his share of rebounds, and there you saw some intimidation on defense. David Holland to inbounds the ball to Frank Kelly in the Central minute Left corner! Johnson on the rebound for Armstrong. Long from the better, a key foul is there. Up and short and fouled. And Hughes had to take that chance. He could not let him lay the ball in. He made a good move, but Moen will go to the line and a chance to increase that lead to four. The Central got themselves in trouble on the other end because there were four players clamoring around Durant Johnson once he got the rebound. They just didn't get themselves back up for it. Once the player gets the rebound, it might not be a bad idea for one person to try to deny the outlet pass, but you don't need four people on the ball. Jamil Holtz coming back in. He has four points for the St. Paul Central Minutemen. Mike Mullen goes to the free throw line to shoot two. His team is up by a pair. They get three. 2.22 to go. Christian Hayes back in now with four fouls. Ball game, Gives yes. him another offensive threat. Moen now two for three at the line. He hits this one. Armstrong will have a four-point lead. It stays 63-60. Clock running with 2.21 to go. The central minute. David Holman sets him up. And with Holman and Hughes, three-pointers are no problem. Here comes Holman. A nice play, even if you don't get the bucket, you get a foul, and a blocking foul goes on Grant Johnson. Like right, Clayton Holman got away with a step in there, too, as he came across the lane. And a touch foul on Johnson. Fourth foul on Grant Johnson, 207 to go. 63-60 Armstrong, but Holman shoots a pair here. 63-61.
Gerard Hughes over chatting with Coach Dan Brink. They'll post two players deep to prevent that long breaker. Two big free throws by David Holman, and it's a one-point game again. 63-62, Armstrong, 207 to go. Intercepted Gerard Hughes. Didn't get it, and the rebound comes off to Jason Johnson. Here's Jankala. They had a three on two, Jankala pulling it up, though. The bend the ball. Johnson in and out of the flying rebound to David Holman of Central. Johnson not having the shooting game that he did last night when he was so sensational oh, against South. He was tremendous last night. Gerard Hughes directing traffic with 1.38 to go. 63-62 Armstrong. Hughes working on Jankala. Takes the shot and off the rim. With a central rebound. Wheeling. Holman no. Gets the line by Paul. Holman's got one. Underneath. Holman again. Yes! Yeah. Unbelievable. And central 8-64-63 is Jankala. Central just really persistent in there. They got the loose ball. Holman finally converted. Oh. The Bendrick and a gamble by Holman cuts in. Grant Johnson pulls it back. In they go for Johnson. Broken up by Paul as he came in. And the foul is going to go on Jamel Holtz, I think. Well, Holtz is, doesn't think he was near the play. Only four on Holtz. This is sheer persistence on Central's, on Central's part. As you can see underneath, it's Holman little fake getting mowing out of position and huh. turning right back around. You saw two of his shots. He actually had about four. Well, they were down about 10 in the first half, weren't they? But they have shown such poise and determination to struggle back and battle back to stay in this game. Taylor has fouled out of the game. Dan Brink is trying to make his decision now. They've been down by as many as eight in the late first half. Now back, the back they gave. Now in the lineup. That will be number five on Holt. Apparently, and Jamel Holmes fouls out of the game for Central. He has four points. Taylor comes back in. One minute exactly to go. St. Paul Central 64, Armstrong 63. Armstrong's Grant Johnson at the free throw line is 3 4 6. Got it. The bonus side of the one on one. Would give Armstrong a lead. It's tied now. 65-64 Armstrong. A break in the action with one minute exactly to go. We'll be right back. So I'm in this place. And this fabulous female comes up and says, what do you think of country music? I said, oh, you mean that twangy stuff where they sing through their nose? My baby drank herself to death. Oh. So I said, what do you think of country music? She said it was a favorite. And it's not like that at all anymore. And did I know that Eisenhower was out of office? Discover the new country music on K102 FM. Confused? Getting a divorce? Injured in an accident? Charged with DWI? Or just need some good legal help? Dial Lawyers. Dial Lawyers is a local company built around the idea that you deserve high-quality personal legal service you can afford. Dial Lawyers are accomplished professionals with years of experience working with legal problems like yours. Dial Lawyers. L-A-W-Y-E-R-S. Straight answers, sound advice. 60 seconds to go. It is 65-64. Robinsdale Armstrong by one. Well, you know who's going to make a difference. It's going to be the ages for Central. Hughes Holman. Or Christian Hayes, who was tough underneath. Yeah, they're going to get the shot, but it's foul to shot that matters here. They want to be able, they've got enough time so that they can work for a decent shot. Armstrong coming out. Focus pressure. That's like kind of a sappy defense. Central inbounds the ball, and here we go with a minute left. 
Central with the ball down by one. Frank Kelly, Gerard Hughes, up and in and out. A good hustle by Holman. He almost came up with it. Mike Moen grabbed it for Armstrong. Now Benrick down. Oh, they found it. They're calling offensive on the Benrick. He threw an elbow and pushed off. And Dan Brink wants a timeout now. Take a look here. Because the Benrick, let's see what, we see what he moves here. Well, not much of a, he had his arm out there. But he, that's a tough foul on the Benrick. And Central takes time out to talk about it with 41 seconds of play. Down by one. For the third straight year, the Water Tom Bed Company has named the Water Bedroom their largest soft side retailer in the nation. And to celebrate, we're having our biggest soft side sale ever. Ever. Save big on Water Cloud. The life support with heaterless technology, just $4.99. Find huge savings on our exclusive line of Simmons Beauty Rest Soft Side. Plus, plus get this brass headboard free with any soft side purchase. Quality, selection, service, and Simmons Beauty Rest. Hurry, Water Bedroom Soft Side Sale in soon. The Auto Directory, a free computerized vehicle shopping service, will find the vehicle you're looking for absolutely free of charge. Call 633-6788 and watch for our TV show. Here's a laphrodisiac just for lovers. Kiss me all over. Whoa! Love's always been fun. Now it's funny. On the new show where the boys meet the girls on the road to romance. It's the premiere of Straight to the Heart, coming soon. Premieres Monday afternoon at 2 on Channel 9. 41 seconds left in regulation time. There's the score. Armstrong by one. And here comes Frank Kelly in the St. Paul Central Minutemen. Diving for the ball. Retrieved by David Holman. Oh, Eric, for everybody. Good play by Kelly. Looked like he was going to lose it. And Holman dies. Holman does lose it. Armstrong hands on. They're going to have to get fouled here. Bombs away. Kelly stole the ball. Frank Kelly. 15 seconds to go. Here he comes. I mean, it's not unusual for a small man to make a big play, but he made about three of them there, and uh, wow. that's a good sign. Armstrong had the lead in the ball, and they threw what was a very foolish pass here, you can see. The Bedrick trying to work against that pressure after Holman lost the ball. Now he has the long. man breaking long, and it was, he couldn't probably even see Kelly. He's such a little man out there, 5'5". Five, five, he really, he probably didn't see him. He came up with a leap, got the ball, and he goes oh. all the way. Oh, look at Frank Kelly. Very alertly done, too. The time was running out. He didn't have a lot of time to try to set anything oh. up. He went coast to coast and the end. Oh, here it is again. Look at Kelly. Got a glimpse of the clock on his way down. There's time here now for Armstrong. Oh, man. They've got to go the length of the floor, but they've got 10 seconds. We'll be interested to see how Central sets up defensively. Well, he is going to remember that play for a long time. Frank Kelly. Happy hope, young man. I hope his friends got a lot of videotapes of that one, because that is a keeper. I'm sure they'll put pressure to some extent, but they don't want to give up that easy one for Moen or Johnson. Grant Johnson, the big guy. Ten yeah. seconds left to go. 66-65, and now it's central by one. See what they do. Back comes Armstrong. Johnson, the Bedrick. Four seconds left. Three-pointer, no. Underneath Moen. Oh, oh, he got it. He got it. What a finish. The game is over. Armstrong wins. Mike Mullins, dramatic bucket into the final horn. It is over. Armstrong pulls it out of the fire. The Falcons 67. St. Paul Central absolutely devastated. 66. Oh, <laughs> what can you say about this game? What a great... What a great game. What great efforts by both of these two teams. My goodness. It was up for grabs till the last second. One of the most dramatic plays in this state tournament. Now take a look.
time running out after that man Frank Kelly near, nearly thought, at least thought he had it won. Well, this looks like it's going to be the last gasp here when Bedrick throws it up. It's short. Paul is up there, but Moen just zeroed in on it, got it, scored it, and the rest is just reaction. Oh, man. Oh. The Armstrong Falcon, the Minutemen are absolutely devastated, and, and how can you not be? Here's the bedroom. There's Moen. There, but they let it go, very clean play, and Moen gets it in. Oh, Definitely yeah, before the buzzer. The the Devastation for St. Paul Central, and Armstrong rolls on to the championship for the second straight year. Oh, man. There's the hero. <laughs> Number 55, Mike Bowen. That's it in the Class 2A semi. The Armstrong Falcons, 67th, the St. Paul Central Minuteman, 66.